let's just let's start off there. Like we're going to be talking a lot about like what's going on in your life uh, okay. and, and what you're trying to, to accomplish. Uh, okay. We're really focused on coaching you today. I love to give people a chance to get to to know you. Um, okay. Is that really what I want to do? Let me just check in on that. What I like to do is this. I love to get a little bit like just. Tell me a little bit more about your journey right now, right? Um, and what I'm curious about is kind of like the outer journey. What is it that other people, like, what is it that other people have already seen about you? Like, they might think like, oh, he does this job, he's done this, like on the outside, they see all this. And maybe even mm -hmm. on the outside, this is where I'm trying to head. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really curious about that to start out with, and then we'll go deeper afterwards. But I want to give some room for some of what do people see at the surface when, okay. they, when, they, when, they, when they see you. Okay. So. So on the surface, they see a fairly passionate project engineer, or at least we could, the official title is project engineer, but I'm more of a program manager. And um, it, my, my current task is to make sure that I see the development of a certain component that will go into a future vehicle later. See that component from, the, from its inception to its validation to its approval for the mass production. The passion comes in. It, it seems like a very simple job. Make sure the project gets from point A to point B. You come across hills and valleys, and how do you navigate through those things? And every, and even though every project pretty much has the same start and end goal, how you get there might change depending on what kind of challenges you run into. And as much as as I've been told that it's been done before, for someone like me in in, in this situation, everything's brand new. And there are moments in time where everyone's sitting around and it seems brand new to everyone else, where a simple question is, how do you do this? And everyone's looking at each other like, what do you mean, how do we do this? We just did this. No, there's a process in, in which it has to get done. There's a process that it has to get done. I didn't know there's a process that it has to get done. Those guys just said that it just happened the way it happened. And so the passion there is, what should I have done? It's what can we do better? What should I have done better? Shucks. Then, and, and as, as, what will be the best way to put it. I mean, everyone tells you to look for, but I'm someone who looks back. I, in some sense, it's almost an engineer perspective or a scientist perspective. Why did it fail the last time? And so look at why it failed the last time and see I can do better. And then from doing better, from learning from the past, you can help inform the future sort of. And so in that perspective, it's almost like I'm missing the present. And so that's where the passion comes from, where it seems as if I'm always constantly missing the present. And so it, it shows up in some level of passion of it has to get done or those situations where I can't tell you why it's going to happen in the future, but trust me on this one. But again, if you're an engineer, it's why should I trust you? You've got to have about A, B, C, D, E, F with footnotes and um, is it the AMA way of, of doing um, 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 references in the back of your paper? Something like that. So that's what they see on the outside. We're just getting started. Click on the link below to watch the full conversation and go to niyamaashan.com slash tribe to get additional resources and exclusive invitation to tribe only events. Journey on.